Rhode Islanders likely remember the name Scott Hornoff. The former Warwick police officer was wrongly convicted of murdering a woman in the 1980s. He served six and a half years in prison for a crime he did not commit before the actual murderer confessed. And now Scott Hornoff is working to help others like him. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us with the story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Well, Scott Hornoff is now championing a bill that would enable Rhode Island to compensate those who are wrongfully convicted and sent to prison. He says the majority of other states already have similar laws on the books, and he thinks Rhode Island should join them. It was 2002 when Scott Hornoff was released from prison. I thank God. And I thank my family and my friends. Now, 17 years later, he's working with his state representative, Patricia Serpa, to pass legislation that would award exonerees damages, including $50,000 for each year of wrongful imprisonment. I knew the story. I remembered it because it was just one of those stories you just never forget. In 1996, Hornoff was convicted of the 1989 murder of Victoria Cushman. Uh, then they led me down to the cell block, took off my shoelaces, my belt, strip searched me, and eventually took me to Intake Service Center where I stayed for five and a half years before being transferred to high security for the last year. It was late 2002 when this man, Todd Barry, confessed to the crime. <laughs> Hornoff was released days later. Everyone was saying, oh, he's going to get a million dollar book deal and movie deal, and he's all set. And it, it's, it might be that way for some exonerees, but a very small, very small number. Hornoff settled with the Warwick Police Department for $600,000 of back pay, money that went to his attorneys and ex-wife. He receives a roughly $60,000 a year disability pension as well. Hornoff says he's grateful, but also points to the fact that Rhode Island is one of 17 states without automatic compensation for exonerees. When we as a society wrong innocent individuals, that in, in turn we owe them something too. I used to hear that America has the best judicial system in spite of its flaws, but that gives little solace to the people, not just the people in prison, but to their families too, because so many people suffer. It's not like throwing one rock into a pond and seeing ripples. You're throwing a handful. And so far, this bill has not been scheduled for a hearing, but Serpa tells me Senator Cynthia Coyne is expected to submit similar legislation. I did also reach out to the Attorney General's office. A spokeswoman there tells me they are reviewing this bill. In East Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.